Good morning. It's baby crying. We just made it to the market. Um, it's like 11 o'clock. Just got a smoothie as well. And we're here for some mangoes. Oh my god, I can't get my phone out. I hate this thing. When you have sweaty fingers, it's like impossible. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> these, these are the mangoes we want. Oh, no plastic bag. No, thank you. No, no. Tastes like bubble gum. Oh, it's got a bit of a weird taste to it. Oh, maybe it's not ripe enough. Kind of like that. No, it's nice. Tastes like those. You know those like long ice lolly tubes you get frozen. Tastes like blue or green flavour. Mm. It's not juicy enough. No. Kind of like it's not very juicy. Don't know if that's normal or not. If you didn't see my vlog on my channel, I did a vlog of this market, um, all the stuff we got from here the other day. So you can check that out. Are you gonna get a smoothie? No. Why not? I'm going to Maya. And then going what? Uh, we need some oats in the supermarket. And also, I was gonna check for tofu or noodles, and then I was probably just gonna take the container and get like a, a yummy rice dish. Okay. Yeah. What about Happy Green though? We not be full from the Happy Green? No, because that's all I've eaten. That will have been all I've eaten. Are you sure? I might get another smoothie because I kind of want a smoothie for lunch. my bike my back wheels gone out of true and we were trying to look at shorter stems but the stem was like 125 pounds so maybe we will look online <laughs> and I really don't know why it's done this again because it did this 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 happened when I first got here <clears throat> and it's done it again I don't know why, and I'm a person who always wants to know why. Oh, I can't we, just... to, we didn't ask last time. I think at dinner later I'll ask some people if I see anyone who's like pro cyclists, I'll say, hey, why does a bike go out true? Because Nat did answer me yesterday, but I think he was ask, answering like what happens, like the spoke goes out or whatever, but I mean, what, mm. why does that happen? Like, is it when you go over a rock? Is it because you drop it? Is it. I don't know why it's happening to my bike. And I guess it's so personal to the bike, you've got to like just figure it out. Yeah. I don't know. We have to come back. Yeah. Maddie's seriously broken her bike. <laughs> I think maybe last time they did it, they didn't realise that it was like a problem, but now they have, so they're fixing it. So. I hope so. Bye, Alex. Oh. oh. Off you pop. Bye, Al. We've gone our separate ways and I'm going to meet him at Maya Mall because he's got his bike and he's got a big heavy bag of fruit so I figured it was easier for him to just cycle there. Do you like where I'm storing my phone? I have no pocket. <laughs> I'm getting all nostalgic and like, not nostalgic, I'm getting all sad now about the thought of leaving here because we booked our tickets out of here and up until now it's always been like oh we don't know when we're leaving and it's open-ended and like knowing when we're leaving and knowing that there's an end date puts an end to like one of the funnest times of my life and just so many wonderful people here who have been so kind and lovely and everyone's so like genuinely every single person I've met has been so lovely so sweet so relatable like having so many common interests and not you know it's just been a wonderful experience to be around so many other like-minded people and also to get to know Thailand and to live in a 
Thai city is something that I don't know I'll never forget probably like even just for the month because um, it's been a month now like like living here rather than feeling like we're passing through on like holiday like it's been amazing to live here and I could I could actually live here it's so great so yeah I'm getting a bit sad but all good things must come to an end unfortunately and that's just the way it goes and it's kind of you know we just gotta look forward to our next adventure and as I said last night we aren't going just the two of us it is an adventure with some people we've met here some good friends we met here which I'm really excited about because we'll get to know them better and yeah lots of good things to come before all the vegans get to all the food this is what it's like at lunchtime brimming look at all that goodness this one's the best one this one and that one there nibble on his lunch because I didn't get anything from there and I'm going to rim him just to get a few bits whilst he's eating to save time because we've got lots of editing and stuff to do today before um, going to dinner later because I think dinner's quite early today so I need to get oats, tofu and see if they have the noodles back in stock. Fingers crossed they do because I really want some. <laughs> Doesn't look like they do. Oh, no. Looks like they've stocked it, stuff up, but they've not stocked up on the noodle ones that we get. Damn it. I've got these ones. These big pots. Which say they're vegetarian. Hmm. Been unlucky with the um, noodles again. So, long aisle, I need to find oats. I can never find them in here. It's because things are laid out differently to how they would be at home, like the order of things. I get really confused. I think it's this one. No, it's not. <laughs> I need to find the cereal. Where's the cereal? Nope. Nope. Cereal. <laughs> Oats. Oh yeah, they have rolled oats for a change. They have the tofu back in stock. This one, so good this one. Perfect, I'm gonna get a couple of them. Maybe even three of them. <laughs> right, so I'm separate from Alex again. It's weird because we do everything together here. Um, but I'm walking to the bike shop to get my bike and Alex is gonna meet me there on his bike and then we're going to Happy Green. This could, end up in me getting really wound up if he makes me wait because Alex is always late for everything and he, he's always holding me up and always faffing. That's like his thing and I'm sure he's going to edit something funny in here but yeah he always is behind so I said to him please don't make me wait because I'm really hungry um, so hopefully I should see him cycling past me on the way to Happy Green, uh, on the way to the bike shop which is around the corner. Hopefully they fix my bike and it will be all good for Moncham tomorrow. But yeah, come on, buffet time. I'm so hungry and ready for Happy Green. Alex is nowhere to be seen. What a surprise. Let's put the timer on the clock. 15.40. See how long it's taking to get here. I hope you um, outdo yourself, Alex. Update, 15.43 nowhere to be seen. I spy an Alex. It's the one and only Digo Double G. You know what happened with the D R E. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know the West Coast. Can't you call this? How long have you been here? Four whole minutes. Five whole minutes.
in it. <laughs> Did well. Yeah. Okay, so they've given me a replacement bike. This is my new bike. No, just kidding. They um they're not quite done, so they've given me this to borrow because we're going to Happy Green now. So we're gonna come back after Happy Green. Um it's probably a good thing we're going to Happy Green early because we need to come back here for seven, so yeah, and it's gonna be very interesting riding this bike. <laughs> stuff what I always do is fill my plate up the first round and then it's so delicious I go fill up like another plate of the same size and it's a big error because then I get so full and then I feel bad about leaving any so I just full stuff myself stuff myself but I need it for tomorrow for Moncham let me show you this view though at Happy Green it's so pretty here look at this this is where everybody sits up here and then it just sort of comes down to this little path out into garden and then there's some kind of I want to go look over here can't believe my back All the mud. You can't see. I'm sure Alex filmed it. Did you film it a second ago? I did. I did. <laughs> That's why mud guards have been great here because I haven't had this once. I have to jump in the shower when I get back. Hello. Once again, it's late at night and we hadn't had a thought of ending this video. But um, Alex is currently pooing. <laughs> and, um, a... what? I don't know. Well, we the bike's fixed and it's back, ready for tomorrow's ride. I wanted to get a super early night and it's like half nine because of editing and shit. But I'm gonna go to bed now and sleep and get a really good night because we're doing Moncham tomorrow again and it's a pretty intense bike ride. We didn't vlog it last time, so we're gonna vlog it this time because it's spectacular views. Um, so we'll take the GoPro and try and film the ride. But uh, we'll see you then. Bye, Alex. Bye. <laughs>